This is an imaginary opening theme song. Theme song. Oh. Hi, unless you were under a rock or away from the internet for the past three days, this is what happened. So, Hell Divers 2 issued a tweet saying that the Sony wants people to have PSN, in other words, PlayStation Network accounts, to play their game. And it was going to go into effect for the new players. They gave like about a month for the existing players to also make a PSN account. And of course, the community was not happy one bit about this. And so the fight for democracy begun. Dun dun dun. And the community, due to this decision, took to Steam and demanded refunds because they could no longer play the game the once had at least 100 hours in and Steam actually was helping them out to give them a refund because this situation was absolutely ridiculous in the first place. And this community is very used to fighting bugs or robots, and so they definitely picked the wrong opponent <laughs> to do this to, that's for sure. Helldivers fans, we've heard your feedback on the Helldivers 2 account linking update. The May 6th update, which would have required Steam and PlayStation Network account linking for new players and for current players beginning May 3rd will not be moving forward. We're still learning what is best for PC players and your feedback has been invaluable. Thanks again for your continued support of Helldivers 2 and we'll keep you updated on future plans. My previous video said yeah the, uh, the only way Sony can save any face right now is if they go teehee we take it back it was just a joke JK. <laughs> kind of did that with this backpedaling that they did honestly. And also this tweet has close to 33 million views. Sheesh. So, in a way, as you can see, the gift from Opera GX, it, democracy prevailed. Since the community got what it wanted, it did not want the PSN accounts to be a thing, and Sony said, okay, we hear you, we won't make it a thing, or something like that. Then again, they also said they'll have maybe future plans, question mark? So, who, who knows what they're gonna get up to in the future. It's all but a mystery to us. Indeed, indeed, indeed mystery. Mm -hmm. And so after seeing this news, the dev for Helldivers 2 had this to say. Firstly, I'm impressed by the willpower of the Helldivers 2 community and your ability to collaborate. Secondly, I want to thank our partners and friends at PlayStation for quickly and effectively making the decision to leave his send linking optional. Together, I want to set a new standard for what a game is and how developers and community can support each other to create the best game experiences. The developers were getting a lot of heat for this alongside Sony when, you know, the original tweet happened that the PSN was going to go into effect. Was it warranted? Was it not warranted? I mean, some believe it wasn't warranted because after all, it's like above a decision that they can do. Rightfully so, you would say, yeah, maybe guys not, you know, go after Arrowhead, maybe just focus on going after Sony because they're the ones that are trying to enforce this on us, right? But let's talk about that a little bit, shall we? Because in this entire situation, Sony was made to be seen as, you know, the big bad of this hullabaloo, right? But was it really just Sony? If Sony was actually the big bad, Arrowhead Studios and game developers were the bad guy and not a minion because they did acknowledge to a degree some faults of their own. See this tweet next, shall we? So is this the moment we tweet and uh, you know, on serious note, we are talking solutions with PlayStation, especially for non-PSN countries. Your voice has been heard. I'm doing everything I can to speak to the community. Cool. Thank you. And then someone said, why are you acting all blameless? Like you should have known for probably years that PSN would be a requirement. And I bet it was your call that it would not be enforced in the beginning to help with server load in the first place. And then they replied, I do have a part to play. I am not blameless in all of this. It was my decision to disable account linking at launch so that players could play the game. I did not ensure players were aware of the requirement and we didn't talk about it enough. This part here is very concerning because you knew Sony would eventually ask the people to get the PSN account. Basically, you did not do anything to like uh, make your own players aware that this was going to be a requirement in the future. We knew for about six months before launch that it would be mandatory for online PS titles. So let's see, you had six months before the launch, you had a few months after the launch, and in no way did you ever indicate it to your community that this would come up as something, right? And then if you go down a little bit more, it says, wait, if you knew about it for six months, uh, then why sell it to non-PSN countries, right? And then they say, we do not handle selling the game. Okay, cool, cool. I, I get that, sure. You weren't the ones that were selling your game. 
game, but you in no way, shape, or form gave anyone a heads up in your own community that this might become something in the future. I don't know about you guys, but that's kind of a scummy behavior. Wouldn't you say? We as the public do not know a lot of things that happen in the background and then you admitting that you had months and months and months of prior knowledge that this would come up as an issue later on and you did nothing to make anyone aware of it i don't know what else to say then it's just scummy behavior and because of this it's in a way not fair for them to throw sony under the bus completely like you were right there next to sony okay you might have been in a lower tier than sony in the scale but you were right there with them you knew about this you said nothing and then if you go to hell divers 2 media they're all like sony says hell divers 2 players will no longer need to connect the psn account on pc hell divers 1 woo uh-huh uh-huh but is it truly a win if you knew this was going to happen you know and then the hell divers 2 psn controversy highlights problem with pc gaming indeed it does and this is still a major issue guys this should have never been a thing in the first place and then them thinking that they could do this to gamers in the first place is what the true problem is with any kind of gaming alongside you know you don't own any game you pay money for if your account gets banned you know we really need to change how stuff is being done in gaming because this is not a solution okay and then they're all like i swear i never see a community that is able to flip a game review score from positive to negative to positive in just a few days let's continue we're making history hell divers yes the history being that you guys really did your community wrong that's all i got from this honestly and then they're all like new major order just drop please hell divers reverse the negative reviews this game has huge potential to be game of the year uh 2024 as of right now it's the best-selling game in 2024 and then if we check the steam charts you'll see that there was pretty big dip like it went below 50,000 players at some point and then after sony announced the news it went back up to 115 players so after learning about all of what has transpired here's my opinion sony asking people to open psn accounts to just play a game that they were able to play for months at this point was pretty ridiculous and crazy and it should never should have happened okay arrowhead on the other hand i don't know how much you know sway they had or how much authority they had throughout this entire thing but like they could have taken the receipts of this game being the best selling game of 2024 to sony and said that this is what the players like and enjoy and we have proven this is the method that keeps on working for months now so please just completely scrap the idea of even trying to implement the psns and everyone will be happy or you know something along those lines like of course i don't know what they could have done different or not but it still feels like if you actually cared about your community you should have gave them a heads up you know like sneak it into the game somehow or just post it on your discord saying you know hey heads up everyone that loves this game sony might try to implement a system that would cut off about 177 or so countries from the, uh, this game please band together and do something you know or something else i don't know i just feel like this could have been dealt very differently. I mean, kudos to the Hell Divers 2 community for voicing their opinions with over 250,000 bad reviews. Since gamers have made themselves be heard with their wallets, and honestly, that is the strongest weapon you have against these game companies. It is your wallet. Your money is your voice, and if enough of you guys get together, they have to listen because otherwise, they're gonna lose their money, and then they don't want that. Because why would they? Who, who's gonna? pay for that 10th yacht that they want to go cruising in or that any private plane in you know, a private jet who's gonna pay for all that right now when i look at steam the reviews are still mixed there's 314,000 reviews for this game and it went from overwhelmingly bad to mixed so that means that people have been changing their negative reviews to positive ones yet again because you know the fight for democracy has been won but honestly guys like if you want to continue playing this game because you don't have an alternative or maybe you should take this as a chance and go find like a different kind of game maybe you'll find something you like maybe from an indie dev maybe from a different company who knows you know but there are games out there somewhere maybe it's time to look for those instead of continuing playing this game after 
the stunt that was pulled by them in the first place. I hope that this game uh, does not win Game of the Year for 2024 because awards don't always have to mean anything and stuff and it's not the biggest of deals but I really do hope that people will uh, not make Cal Divers 2 best game of the year 2024 for sure. Just, just don't do it. The way that they treated their players who gave so much attention to them and so much of their time and so much love towards their game to be treated like this truly is abysmal i really do hope that we'll continue changing stuff with their most valuable of votes which is their wallet because no other way will you ever be heard by these people honestly and with that being said go watch another one of my videos subscribe and like to this one and i'll see you sometime else bye